When you first get your online order page, you'll notice that there's no category images, there's no item images, and there's no description. Um, and you also notice that by default, Store Interface 4 is chosen for you in most cases. Uh, we determine which store interface uh, based on your website, and we kind of add that. But you can always change that. So first of all, let's go ahead and start by taking a look at the, the website itself. You notice on the left-hand side is all the categories, and on the right-hand side it has the category name and then the individual items underneath it. Okay, and then let's go ahead. The first thing you want to do is check out the checkout page because we want to see which order types we're accepting. Once you press the checkout the cart button, or add some items to the cart. Uh, you will notice uh, here that it has online order delivery and online order pickup. Let's suppose you don't want delivery, you only want pickup. Um, let me show you how to do that. So what you would do is you log into the back end of your dashboard. You will click on Clover Orders Settings. From the Settings tab, you would um, first actually you would do this. First, you would make sure uh, when you go in the back end, make sure the address is correct. So when you get a ch when you get a chance to come to this area, make sure the uh, the marker is on the correct address. If you notice, it's, it's kind of off. Uh, perhaps Google Maps wasn't didn't find it or something may have happened. Just remove this marker, okay? So when you first log into your website, move this marker all the way to uh, Pennsylvania. So you would just move it all the way there, and then, and then you press Save Changes, okay? So I'll go ahead and leave that for you, and then uh, you can move it to Pennsylvania, and then put, put it right on top of uh, the, the, city, the city and street. So you would zoom out, and then zoom in until you find the exact location, and then press Save Changes. But in this, uh, but for now, let's go ahead and just look at the store interfaces. You'll notice that store interface four is selected for you by default. Uh, you can make some custom changes here in the background. I mean, in the back end, you can choose a different color. Uh, you can choose a different uh, categories color. Let's say we want, um, let's say we want blue. We'll go ahead and do a dark blue here, and then uh, we'll go ahead and save changes. Okay, and then let's check out the, the category page now. So see how we got uh, gold font, now we got blue here. Let's say you want this to be gold like this color. You can also do that, so do that as well. So you can go over here, go to back to store interface, and then change it to a, um, a golden color if you want, if you like. Uh, you just have to play with it until you get the right color, um, and then make that change if you like. Let's go ahead back go back to default black for now. That's what it was originally. We're gonna go ahead and save changes. Okay. And uh, let's go ahead and go to the order types where we were talking about delivery area. I mean the pick delivery um, online order delivery and pickup. So you go to um, order types, which is right here, and then you'll see delivery and pickup. So you click on edit here and just disable it. Now the delivery type is gone. Okay, I went ahead and pressed save changes here. I'm gonna, and then let's go ahead and take a look here at the at the checkout page. Now we just have pickup. That's how you do that. And let's say, uh, like I mentioned earlier, how to add category images and description. Let's say number one meals, we wanna add an image to that. So you click on categories and items, click on the camera icon here, select the file, Actually, let me do this. Let me just select it from the media library for now. I'm going to put this just for now so you can see how it, you can add an image to it. See, there's an image. Let's say you want to add an image to the actual item. Or let's say you want to reorder the meals. Let's say you, you um, under the category meals. Sorry, let me do the. Let's say under uh, category meals too, you want um, lamb mix first. You could do that. You could put lamb mix at the top. Or let's say you want uh, this one to be the top. You can do that as well. You can rearrange it, okay? And you can also rearrange the meals as well. Let's take a look at the um, at number two meals and how we just rearranged it. So we put there's an image that we we put up in the background. Let's go to uh, meals number two. Press show more. It'll show the remaining number of meals. Let's take a look at the back end here. Number two meals here. Uh, let me put um, lamb mix to number. 
Maybe this, this one could be hidden. That's why it's not showing there. So let's take a look at the items images section here. And if you want to add an image to an item, so press add edit image, upload the image, add the description right here. Okay, so that's how you um, add your images and your description for each item. And then uh, if you want to do coupon codes, uh, add your coupons here. And then when you add your coupon, and you're finished, make sure to enable the coupons. So you go to settings and then go to checkout settings, uh, go to coupons and then press enable. So that's how you, that's like a quick start once you get your online order page set up and going. There's lots of other changes you can do, but that's basically uh, the first things you want to look at is your online order pickup, online order delivery, uh, which of those options you want available, and then go from there. Okay, thank you.